Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Can we take your seats? And we'll start getting the questions in now. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much for coming, everyone. A head-to-head -head confrontation we can, quite simply, never get enough of. Talk about high profile. This is it. Stay with us for complete live coverage from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as Spurs face Manchester City on EA TV. Well, the weather is absolutely perfect here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur in London. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Tottenham Hotspur facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Number 21, Dijan Kudusevski. Number 10, Harry Kane. And number 7, Son. Good. Good one. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Clément Longley plays alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And underway here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur. City pushing forward with options available. Now shot happy here. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that! Well, let's take another look, because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it, he couldn't have hit that any better. continues will there be a response from Tottenham now there needs to be and using his strength to shield the ball Pabier interception to snuff out the danger getting forward but really sticking to their task defensively 
Son. Oh, yes! As pure a header as you're likely to see. And he ought to be very proud of that one. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Kane's header is technically spot on. He arrives at the right time, makes good contact with the ball. It's a brilliant goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. Mares. The ball with Rodri. Can they create something from here? Well, it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. And players waiting at the far post. Now it still could be dangerous. Well, that is a moment he would love to have back because it really was there for him. Pavier. It's with Bentancourt. Son. Promising sequence. Kane. Now with Bentancourt. And back with Kane. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay onside there. He didn't read the situation at all. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Riyad Mahrez. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Has a go. And using his body to good effect. Harry Kane well read to ease the pressure Holland Bernardo Silva Oh, a tremendous block. Just the challenge that was required. And the throw into Spurs. Pabier. Useful looking ball. And it's a double for him game no way for the opposition to contain him and no wonder he's off celebrating well as you can see the weight of the through ball is key to this goal and then it's a top class strike from Kane his technique is absolutely spot on just look at the power he generates here Go for 
Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2 1. Ruben Dias. The ball with Rodri. Bernardo Silva. Good visualization and execution. Foden. Hernandez. Keeping the ball moving. But then the one that goes astray. Well, Spurs, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. And unable to keep possession. Bentancourt. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Holland. Foden. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. It needs an accurate cross. Holland. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Could be a chance to break here. An important interception. Well, moving towards the end of the first half and City chasing the game here. Stuart, what have you made of the performance so far? Well, it's been a good game so far and they've played a big part in that. But if they are to get back into this, they need to be more disciplined defensively. They've just been too open at times. Who can they pick out? Well, good idea in terms of the shot, but not to me. Dejan Kulusevski. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Rebier. Foden. On to Holland. Foden. Oh, a fine block. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, you have to give plenty of plaudits to Harry Kane for this performance up to this point. Really giving the defenders headaches. Well, he's looked unstoppable today. Quick, clever, skillful, and he's taken his goals really well. He's been wonderful to watch. And now they get the ball rolling. Now shot happy here. Son. Oh yes! As pure a header as you're likely to see. And he ought to be very proud of that one. Still could be dangerous. Well, in some style, Edison prevents a goal. Javier, useful looking ball. 
And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Good idea in terms of the shot, but not to be. And the referee sounds the second half into action. Spurs with the lead here. Bernardo Silva. Erling Haaland. Nicely timed tackle. Jafet Tanganga. Now Son. On to Silva. Well, a story that's been covered extensively on television and the newspapers and on social media. Angel Correa has completed his move to Bayern Munich. Yes, it's an exciting move for him and hopefully we'll now see the best of him. But he'll need to settle in quickly to win over the fans. The move suits everybody, I think. Oh, off the post, still alive. And he clears the danger. Well, City will be frustrated at the moment. They thought that was the equaliser. They've got to keep the pressure on now. Bernardo Silva. And he could really get at the opposition. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Yeah, and attempting the through ball. Not out of the woods yet. Well, threat over for now. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Tottenham Hotspur facing Brentford. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. And room now out on the flank. And no joy as far as the cross was concerned. Difficult to stop him, but quick thinking defensively. Son. And Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. Sessegnon. Rebier. And a tidy ball. And players waiting in the centre. Throw in here for Spurs. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Kane. Rebier. On to Son. Back to Bentancourt. Excellent defending. Could be a chance to break here. Foden. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, we're inside the final 15 minutes. 
And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Manchester City facing Arsenal. What a save! And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Number 25, Yafet Tanganga, to be replaced by number 14, Ivan Perisic. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, still an issue here. Bernardo Silva. Mares. Crossing possibilities. This could level it. How can he take them on and beat them? And crossed in there. On the ball in an attacking position. But they've got to do something positive quickly. Worth the try. Terrific block. Breaking at pace. They might be able to get in now. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. So, making the substitution now. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 26, Riyad Mahrez. Coming onto the pitch, number 10, Jack Grealish. Well, the short corner routine. Could be a really good stop at the critical stage. Well, had that gone in, there was no way back. Not much time left now, though. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Well, they're going for the short one. Bien. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Domenico Berardi. Now Holland. Until oh, they have a goal in the future. They're giving it a go. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Over it comes. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. And Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. And Bernardo Silva has it. And there's the final whistle. The big headline defeat for City. What did you make of this? Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. As usual, Harry Kane, difficult to defend against. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. Now, shot happy here. Son.
still could be dangerous. Well, in some style, Edison prevents a goal. Fabier, useful looking ball. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, good idea in terms of the shot, but not to be. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. They might be able to get in now. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Could be. A really good stop at a critical stage. Well, had that gone in, there was no way back. Not much time left now, though. Do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a good... Hi, uh, just a couple of questions for you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We'll be taking some questions now. Thank you for joining us here today, guys. That's all we have time for. You can almost feel the atmosphere building to a crescendo. Real electricity here in the air at the Etihad. It's Manchester City against Arsenal. Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live next. Hello everyone, well here's something we say every day of the week, don't we? It's a beautiful day for football in Manchester at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City versus Arsenal.
Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Phil Foden plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Luis Alberto plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. And the match is underway. Luis Alberto. And space for him to cut in. And a decent save. Full credit. A sloppy pass. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far, Gabriel Jesus. Well, that's a very impressive return, isn't it? He's been excellent, and it's not just been his goals. His all-round players look really bright this season. Robbery. Riyad Mahrez. And we saw the situation developing. Well, Manchester City went down in the last game. They lost against Spurs. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Oh, he's through on goal here, Derek. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top class save. And over comes the corner. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Growing pressure here. And another corner. Corner kick played in. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. But after months of speculation, we finally get to have a look at Luis Alberto wearing his new colours. This his debut today. Stuart, what should we look at for? Well, he can do everything a central midfield player needs to do. He can pass it, he can wriggle out tight situations, and he can defend. Let's hope we see those qualities today. Teo Hernandez. Bernardo Silva. Mares. And Mares inside. Mares. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. It's very attractive attacking football, and Mares comes into things now. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Oh, oh, oh. 
Now sending it in. It might still be problematic. Brilliantly blocked. Hold on. Now with Mares. Takes it on. And the keeper more than equal to it. Delivering it. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Well, he's lost it. Holland. They do pass the ball with authority. Mares. On to Holland. And I think the threat has been averted. And he clears the danger. Martin Odegaard. And a fine tackle. City move it forward with purpose. Well, the hosts have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'd be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Well, this is a big moment. And don't these fans know it? <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? And just wide. There really wasn't much in that at all. Martin Odegaard. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, I believe we have news of a goal in the Brentford game. Alex Scott is waiting to give us the information. It's a goal for Spurs. They've scored the opener with 34 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto! Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Tremendous ball played through. Luis Alberto. Rodri. Well, something has changed in the Brentford match, I'm just hearing. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for Brentford. The free kick was well executed, but it had a big deflection and it's gone in off the wall. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 42 minutes play. Alex keeping us right up to date. Counter-attacking, very much an option. All hands on deck. Martinelli. Gabriel Jesus. And a significant block following that cross. Able to clear the danger. 
Corner kick though here. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Has a go. Terrific block. And that is going to be all for the first 45 then here at the Etihad Stadium. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. And now they get the ball rolling. Oh, he saved it! Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Excellent header. Growing pressure here and another corner. Can they forge ahead? Keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek. But he... Takes it on. And the keeper more than equal to it. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Who's going to get on the end of it? And just wide. There really wasn't much in that at all. Luis Alberto. Oh, Luis Alberto! Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, not much to split between the two sides in terms of possession or the scoreline. It's been such an entertaining game up to now. Some real chances at both ends. You have to reckon a goal is coming soon. Silva. Mares. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Luis Alberto. Can they forge ahead? Oh, right in the nick of time. Continues his run, in possession to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, a smart stop. <laughs> Played over. And it still could be dangerous. Marcinelli. Can he find the net? And no problems at all for the keeper.
There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Well, I think he's still got a few years left in him. He still looks fit and sharp and still has that desire. What a good signing this could be. Firing it towards goal. Well, tremendous block. Spot on with that tackle. After today's game, if you'd like to get your tickets, well, not giving him any breathing room. Well, I believe we have news of a goal in the Brentford game. Alex Scott is waiting to give us the information. Yes, it's a second goal for Spurs. They're back in this now with 60 minutes on the clock. Thank you, Alex. Is it going to be? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Mares. Holland. Can they nudge in front? And that's Sam goalkeeping. And over it comes. And you need your defender to take charge. And there to intervene. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Just a quick reminder, we'll have FA Cup fourth round action coming up for you live. It's Manchester City taking on Watford. Well, the cup always whets the appetite and that one's no different. It should be a really good game. Well, they've given him too much space. Holland, just the clearance that was called for. They're simply allowing their opponents to come onto them. Bernardo Silva, the supporters want to see him have a go. Erling Holland, and how about that for a save? Luis Alberto. And we have a goal to... And he's broken free! And a significant block following that cross. Well, apologies to our viewers for having to interrupt Alex just then. To clarify, Brentford have scored in that match. And they're locked together in a thriller now at 2-2. Well, a good place to win it back. And let's see what it leads to. And a goal! This might finish nil nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Luis Alberto. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And a chance, Odegaard! Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. A change in the offing for City. Well, don't forget, action from the fourth round of the FA Cup is coming your way on EA TV. It's Arsenal taking on Brighton. Well, that's a game to look forward to. Plenty to play for in that one. It should be a really entertaining game. 
He might yet finish. Foden. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Erling Haaland. In it goes. To increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here. Deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. And just five minutes remaining. Gabriel Martinelli. Promising looking ball. Well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Manuel Akanji. Really getting stuck in. Holland. Here's De Bruyne, it's there for him, there it is, victory more or less guaranteed now. Well here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Three goals without reply. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Luis Alberto Marcinelli Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire body on the line player in the way again and that is offside And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel-good for City fans everywhere. They take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, we wondered who would come out on top. The best goal scorers or the best defence. And we got our answer. What a brilliant attacking display that was. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Growing pressure here and another corner. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek. But he... Takes it on. And the keeper more than equal to it. Kept 
battered out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Who's going to get on the end of it? And just wide, there really wasn't much in that at all. Luis Alberto. Oh, Luis Alberto! Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. He continues his run. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, a smart stop. Holland. And that's sound goalkeeping. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. And a chance, Udegaard! Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. Foden. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Erling Haaland! In it goes! To increase their advantage! And will that be the goal that ends up... Haaland. Here's De Bruyne. It's there for him. There it is! Victory more or less guaranteed now! I've just got a couple of questions I want to ask you about the match. No further question, thanks for your time.